regulate my heat through the, the head, the neck, the gloves, then zipping, you know, pit zip, opening up your code, etc., etc. I have a Poly Pro here. These are great. They're breathable. Um, they're warm. Uh, can't say enough about them. Had them in the military. Um, I also have the military spear system. Um, one thing, like the, the military sleep system that they have now and the spear system. You see a lot of people running around these black uh, fleece jackets. Stand by real quick and I'll show you one. These black uh, fleece jackets. Now I have acquired some of the newer ones they have out. It's not like this one here. It's fleece. It's uh, um, nylon or some kind of protecting here, there on the elbows and arms and whatnot. But anyway, this is a real heavy duty, uh, medium weight jacket. And um, uh, the units that I were in, we received those back in like, I think 1990, I want to say 98, the sleep system and these spear systems. They come with the silk um, uh, base layer, then you have a wool base layer, then you have this. And then you also have, um, I'll pull this thing out because a lot of people haven't seen these. Um, the, uh, just, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, like a uh, suspender suit or whatever. But the thing about it is, it has these zips on it, and you know, you can regulate your heat as well. But this thing hugs, uh, you have that wool underneath you. Put this thing on, it's fleece and I believe wool and um, polyester, I believe. <laughs> great, um, great piece of kit, great piece of kit. And so my point was that I, I've had these since like 1998 and uh, we tested all that stuff out. And then of course when the war broke out, they, uh, I think they made a decision to do the crossover and they have that. They, initially they had that in the early 2000 and now they have the color, different colored ones. But anyway, a little history I guess. <coughs> Here in my Glock pouch I have a my uh, Zebra Billy can. I just received this with the Baco Lander axe uh, a couple days ago. I've spray painted it with the Rust-Oleum high heat paint. Um, I'm, I think these are pretty neat. I don't know how they're going to work. I'm going to test it out real soon. I think it's. A, I've seen them on YouTube. This is a 12 centimeter. Um, I think it's going to be good, but uh, we'll see. Uh, it has. Um, I've already done a review on it with the lid. And it has like a inner uh, pan, and then of course the box itself. So, and then this thing clips down here, and then when the handle comes up. That locks these little clips lock on, holds everything in place. But the only thing I don't like about that is, is like when you put it in your bag, if you want to lock it in, you have it like that. I don't have anything in here normally, or technically, this should be full of gear, spices, cooking stuff, fire stuff, whatever. It should be full of gear, and, uh, and it will be. Okay, um, on the bottom of the pack. Um, I have my Kelty 20 degree bag. I love this bag. It is a down bag. Um, I've used it in all kind of temperatures, probably down to probably about down to 20 degrees. I would say if you put on uh, selective clothing like some wool or some, you know, like that, that suspender system there, um, you could probably go down to zero. This thing is awesome. The thing I like about it, it packs up small. Um, it's warm. It works good. It does what it's supposed to do. Whether it goes down to 20 degrees or not, I don't know. But added clothing, I would take this and that down to zero. Uh, no doubt about it. I'm very impressed by this bag. I think I paid like 70 bucks for it. Brand new. Got it on eBay. Something, sometimes bids do work. Okay. Um, that being said, uh, I also have in here two reusable emergency space blankets. And if 
you haven't seen these, check out Dave Canterbury's Double Wedge Shelter. As well as check out my video on them, the Double Wedge Shelter, Dave Canterbury Double Wedge Shelter. Uh, they pack up nice and tight. Uh, they're waterproof. You could like you could take one, put it in like a uh, slanted configuration, put one on the ground, sleep on one, have one, have a fire out in front. The convection with this mylar in the inner side here, with the fire going, keep you warm all night. Uh, like I said, I rigged it in the double wedge shelter configuration. You'll have to check out my video on that or Dave Canterbury's. Like I said. Uh, works great. I also have two uh, heavy duty, uh, I'll say two, three mil, um, super duty actually, uh, trash bags. You could fill these with leaves, sleep on them, you could carry stuff in them, you can cut them open and make a shelter, you could wear one as a raincoat if needed. Um, a lot of different uses. You could fill it with leaves again or something and and uh, make a pillow, whatever. Um, very, uh, very useful item. Weighs nothing. Why not carry? It? <laughs> I have a small thing of peanut butter here. Jif uh, to go. Uh, the idea behind this is not so much for food. I, I would eat it if I needed it or had to. But it's for bait, for example, like squirrels. Squirrels love this stuff. I have a video. I haven't put put it out yet. I will. But I put out in a heavy duty squirrel country uh, three snares with peanut butter. I left it out for two days and nothing went to it. So the point there is uh, if you think you're just going to put out a bunch of traps and stuff and you know you're going to jump right into them and hang yourself or whatever, think again. Uh, having something to catch now if if I was to catch, say, a squirrel, then I could use the entrance to the guts of that animal to lure in other animals into traps or whatever have you. <coughs> um, so, I know that, and then again, like I said, I could eat it if I needed it or need, wanted to, or I could eat half of it and I'd use the other half for trapping purposes to get more food. Only makes sense. Um, I go to the bottom pouch here, and I'll show this later if, if I can. It's going to be hard, but anyway, it has a bottom large pouch on the back, Velcro lid. I have a green chem light just for GP, looking in the bag, looking around the area, hanging, marking the area, whatever. Now, this particular pouch is like when things all, uh, things have went to went to the bad and so I need to pull some of this stuff out. Mark my area, mark where I was, mark where I, maybe I killed something, whatever. It's just to see. Uh, in a plastic bag, some waterproof matches, Coleman waterproof matches, and I have a small container of uh, Vaseline medicated Vaseline for like your lips or some so if I have dry skin or whatever lip um, where I can use that however I use that for starting a fire as well I also have an emergency space blanket my large space blanket with a large candle or not large candle but one of those survival candles <coughs> uh, you know good to throw in your hooch Good to light fires with, all kind of different things. Um, the Mylar space blanket, you can wrap up in it, you can rig it up for a uh, re uh, reflective type heating source for convection, convection heating. Uh, that's probably the best way to use it. Uh, you could make shelter with it. I mean, these things are cheap, you know, probably a one time use uh, type thing, maybe two or three times, I don't know. But the point is, I've never used them, I will take them. Right.